What's up y'all? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys one way to cook up some delicious rainbow trout. So I go out to the lake, it was mostly frozen over, but I was still able to catch some really nice trout, brought them home, cooked them up, and they turned out great. So watch the video, find out how to cook some rainbow trout, and I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. And let's get right to the video. What's up y'all? Today we're gonna be fishing for some trout, maybe some panfish and bass as well, we'll see. Um, today's video is sponsored by Runkel, R-U-N-C-L, and they sent me their J-Claw ice fishing and, and cold weather gloves right here. So I'll be trying these things out today, pretty nice looking. Um, and so I'll be reviewing them and after a couple hours out there fishing, I'll let you know what I think about them and everything. But if you guys check in the description below, I will have a code, a promo code for you to, for you to get 15% off uh, a pair of these J Claw gloves here by, and again, that's Runkle, R-U-N-C-L. So definitely go check those out and I'll let you guys know what I think about them. So just stay tuned. Hopefully we get on some fish and I'll be reviewing these gloves and see how they work for me. So far, I like them. See you guys down at the water. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ate, ate, ate half my bait and came off. <laughs> there we go. Finally. You got one? Yeah, it took long enough. Good one? Uh, I think it's a shrimp. Let me know if you need a net. I've got one. Oh, I do. And I definitely need it because I'm using one pound line. I can't lift them up. Okay. This is like uh, fishing with spider web. Oh my gosh, that's the smallest trout I've ever caught in my life. Ball? Oh yeah. Okay. Like five inches long. <laughs> Look how tiny this guy is. <laughs> that's like uh, pretty much bait right there. But first fish, not complaining, at least we got one. The skunk has gone away. The first fish of the day. A little tiny one. We'll go ahead and let him go. There he goes. What was that on? That spoon thing? Oh yeah, nice. There we go. Oh, he can't even spit it right there. Yeah, he got off. Spit it right there. Look, we know they out there. Yep, that was on chartreuse power bait. There we go. Don't come off like the last one did. fish in this lake. <laughs> yep. 
I was beginning to doubt it for a second. Not bad either. All right. So there's the second fish on the dock. Not a monster, but it's it's eater size for sure. All right. That'll cook up. Not bad. See if there's any more in here. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. Oh. There we go. That's a pretty one. Oh, yeah, that is a pretty one. It's got nice colors on it, man. <laughs> It's a good looking trout. Yeah. Go, dude. Thanks, bud. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> I've been grinding all day. <laughs> so yeah, that's the third one I've got on the dock. I'll go in the light. It's a good looking fish. Look at that thing. That's awesome. All right. So we'll keep that one. It's a little small, but oh, swallowed it. Oh yeah, I am. There we go. Yeah, Rich, I got a fish on, so I mean, if you need to call me back, that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. Actually, it's kind of a smaller one. That's the thing about this line, it's so light that every fish feels good. Oh, sweet. There's another one. Hey, thanks for letting me know, bud. I would have just totally missed that. That's definitely not a keeper, though. He's a little small. Ah, I don't know. That's borderline. I'm trying to decide if that's worth keeping or not. That's a little small. But I think that's the fourth one I've landed today. I'll be leaving pretty soon, so maybe I will. Oh, this is not too bad. There we go. This guy. <laughs> this is what I'm used to. Yeah, they're out around that tree, they? Hopefully that's big enough to keep. Oh, he's a small one. Dang, dude. He's pretty small. <laughs> yeah, he's too small to take home, but make sure I'm recording. Yep. Getting the light. So there's fish number five of the day. Too small to keep, so we're gonna let them go here pretty quick. So that'll probably be the last one of the day before I head out. All right, so we ended up with five trout today, three keepers and two I threw back. I had a sixth one that I lost right at the dock and then I had some bites that I missed there as well. It was a grind. I was out here for hours and the bite was slow, but I managed to make it happen at one of the only spots with open water right now. The ice is not safe to go out on, so I had to uh, make do with what I had. But um, again, guys, this video is sponsored by Runkel, R-U-N-C-L, and these uh, J-Claw gloves are the, the item that I'm reviewing here today. And these things are awesome, I gotta say. Um, I love them. I really have been needing to get a new pair of gloves for fishing out here and I'm tired of the ones that don't have finger holes of having to throw them off, you know, to reel in a fish or to mess with my phone and then put them back on and my hands get cold and everything. So they're awesome. Um, style, 10 out of 10. These things are really cool looking. And then um, comfort, I'll give them a 9 out of 10. They're a little tight on the fingers, but that's good for trying to keep warmth in and everything like that. But they're very comfortable. They're real soft inside. They're awesome. Um, as far as warmth, probably about an 8 out of 10. They're super warm. Um, I think if you were to put um, some hot hands, hand warmers in there or something like that, they'd be fine for any temperature. But they kept my hands warm all day and they'd be fine in even colder temperatures than this for sure. They're, they're awesome. And then um, convenience and ease of use. Real quick to throw them off. Off, take them back on 
They've got magnets instead of Velcro, which is awesome because it just snaps back on real quick. Easy to put the, the ends on, the thumb. Easy to pop them off when you need to access your phone or reel in a fish or something like that. Um, and it won't get all, all messed up and wear with use like, like Velcro would. Um, so they're awesome, they're super convenient, I love them. And uh, one of the cool things is when you take them off, I've had times carrying my gloves out to the water or bringing them back home and I'll drop one and end up losing it. But these ones have like five or six different points where the magnets actually stick together. So it's hard to lose just one glove. Um, they'll stick together pretty well so they transport pretty easily and even the thumbs will stick together. And so that's awesome. The grips on them are really good for holding on to fishing rods and they were even good for holding on to the trout while I was out here. So I definitely recommend these gloves. These things are awesome. I've been needing a pair of gloves and this is exactly what I've needed. So they are the RUNCL Runkle J Claws. And um, if you guys are interested in checking these out, go in the description below. I've got a code, a promo code for 15% off a pair of those gloves. So definitely um, check those out if you're needing a pair of gloves or if you think these things look awesome like I do and you wanna get yourself a pair. So I might be back out here tomorrow. So hopefully um, I get a chance to come back out, catch some more fish and redeem myself. Maybe the bite will be a little hotter tomorrow. We'll see if that happens or not. Looking forward to it. Uh, definitely check out those gloves if you guys are needing some, some gloves for fishing, winter activities, whatever. Um, and there'll be a, that promo code in the description below. Just glad I got on some trout today. It was a grind, but we made it happen. I'm gonna go home and cook some of this fish and hopefully it turns out good. So I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. We're gonna cook up these trout we caught today. So right here, we got the fillets. Fillet them and we're gonna cook them up and see how they turn out. So I melted some butter in this pan and I'm gonna add my fillets. I'll just put them skin side down so I can season them. We'll let them cook for a little bit and then we'll flip them over to the other side. So I think I can fit them all in here. We got six fillets from three nice uh, keeper size trout. Let's see, let's move this one over to the side. I think it'll just work. Garlic, Tony's, basil, and pepper. I'm not using salt because Tony's has enough salt in it already. I'd like to have fresh lemons, but we didn't have any on hand, so I'm gonna put a couple drops of this lemon juice stuff. So I just season this one side. Just season them fairly lightly. Trout have a really good flavor, so there's no need to just absolutely coat them in seasoning. It's gonna be hard though, because Tony's is so good. Lemon juice is optional, obviously real lemons are preferred, but I'll just put a couple drops of this in there. And then it's ready to go. We'll leave it for about three minutes on each side and we've got it on medium heat right now. You can do medium high if you want to go a little faster, but keep an eye on it, you don't want to overcook it. All right, so the bottom side, you can tell it's done because it starts to get wider around the edges. Just gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. Get done pretty quick. And then you wanna make sure to flip them all over pretty quick. And you want all that all that pink color that you see there to cook out. It should be, should be a whiter color when it's done. Now, wild trout, are, their meat's a little more pink, so. Wild trout's meat is a little more pink. So it, should, it might maintain that pink color, but you should be able to tell when it's done. And so you want to make sure you got good contact with all the meat down on the hot surface. I did that side for about three minutes. I'll do this side for about two minutes, maybe three. Fish cooks really quickly. If you're not sure if it's done or not, cut open a piece, look inside. If it's still pink, then um, if it's still pink or still kind of translucent color it's not done you stick your finger in it if it's hot all the way through it should be done all right so they're done here i'm going to turn off the heat 
And when they're falling apart like that, you know they're done. A lot of times they won't completely just fall apart, but these ones are so tender, they're just kind of falling to pieces. But basically, you can eat it with the skin on. Most people just use a fork and just fork it out of the skin. It should come out really easily. But that's the color you're looking for. It'll be white with just a little bit of like a tan brown on there, especially with all the garlic and the seasoning and stuff like that. All right, so this is what our finished product should look like. Some delicious trout. I normally do it on the grill. I've done it some other ways as well. You can bake it, but that's probably the quickest way to do it without um, you know, turning the grill on and doing all that stuff, especially when it's cold outside like it is right now. Let me go ahead and try it on here to prove to you guys that it actually tastes good. So that's what it should look like right there. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a try. Hopefully it's not too hot. Mm. It was really tender and there's just the right amount of seasoning. It may look pretty heavily seasoned, but it's not bad. Um, all that seasoning brings out the flavor, but you don't want to put so much seasoning that you can't taste the natural trout flavor. Trout have a very, a very good flavor to them naturally, so you don't want to over season them. So that was, uh, that was a success, I would say. So we're gonna see if we can get out tomorrow and get on some more fish. And if we can, uh, then I'll obviously put the footage of that on here. Can't wait to get out there and see if I get some more. Back out here fishing for some rainbow trout. I was here yesterday and the lake was a lot more frozen. It's starting to open up a little bit, but it's supposed to get cold again this weekend and refreeze. So there's that. Um, rocking the Runkle R-U-N-C-L J-Claw gloves again today. So we'll be wearing those. Um, if you guys are interested in these, go down below. There'll be a link and there'll be a code for 15% um, off if you want to get a pair of those gloves. And then go check out some of the other fishing um, items while you're on their website as well. So we're going to get uh, our rods casted out and see if we can get a couple fish today. No. No! Well, I tried to tie a good knot. Oh, oh, I'm getting a bite, I'm getting a bite, I'm getting a bite. Every time I look away and I'm messing with something else, please don't. No, I should have waited. Thank goodness. Of course I have my camera off when he bit. That's not a bad one. Oh. Come here, buddy. Oh, it's a keeper though. That's not a bad trout at all, actually. Not a bad one. Uh, it looked a little small from over here. All right guys, so that is, um, that's how you cook trout. I had a pretty good day. I had to grind, but I caught some nice keeper trout and that's how you cook them up pretty quick on the stove. Again, it's literally just, you can use butter or oil, and then you're gonna to wanna to use some Tony's or something like that. Old Bay works great too. I used pepper, I used basil, garlic, and some uh, lemon juice, and it turned out fantastic. So thanks for watching everybody. Hit that like button if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and stay tuned for more videos like this. Remember guys, fishing's good. Sunfish King, out.